Okay, we are live, episode 121. We've got a unique one for you. The table has turned for episode 121. The questions for the CPG founder are going to be for me. They're going to be offered up by Alexa Martinez, social media director for I1. Hello, welcome to the show. Thank you. Excited to be here. At the end of the show, of course, we will have Kyle Salathi. Boom. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yes elite yes. printing and packaging uh, to give us a uh, to give us what he what he's all about and what he's doing over there. All right, Alexa, let's get started. All right, started. Mark, let's do it. So let us know when did I1 start and what is it all about? I1 is I'm winning on nutrition. It started in 2016. Uh, we were uh, kind of finishing up a bag business that we had and we wanted to get into food and beverage. Uh, I wanted to get in the plant-based business, organic business. wasn't quite sure, but I knew it was going to be uh, legume facing. And so we started uh, working on what then was our first product, which was a uh, protein chip. Perfect. So you went from chips to puffs. Um, how did that happen? And why did you choose to start creating puffs? puffs? Great question. Uh, it was 2018 started figuring out how extruders worked. Um, it's another thing that people find out uh, as they're sort of on the journey, if they're working on salty snacks like ours, there's, you can chips, so you're gonna be frying oftentimes, you can bake. And then there's other things like extruded products, which are often baked like puffs and sticks that we have. So in 2017, I started learning about extruded products. Um, our chip was doing fairly well, but we started working on a new chip and then there was a cracker format. And I knew that extruded uh, products were where we wanted to be. So that by the time we got into 2018, I really understood how the extrusions worked. I knew that a puff uh, would do very well, especially with the, the ingredients that we wanted to use. So we started, you know, sort of working on the R&D with that. And by 2000, middle of 2018, we had what now is our core products, which is our puffs and our sticks. And uh, we've been off and running since then. Nice. How about, let's talk about partnerships and money. So what is needed for both? You need to be strong in both. Uh, one of the things that I talk about uh, a lot is the money factor. So I'll start with number one. You need a lot of money in this business. Um, there are definitely multiple ways. I start from the left all the way to the right of how you can build a CPG company. Uh, you can start with very little money uh, and be at a farmer's market and what I do what I call a hand-to-hand -hand transaction. Basically, you're making some product, you're selling some product. You're making some product, you're selling some product and do it in a way where you're, you know, your cost is two bucks and you're selling it for four and all of a sudden you've got a cash flowing business. Um, but to scale, uh, whereas you're going to take it from that smaller format and get into things that people want to do, whether it's direct to consumer online or really getting into retail, you're going to need money. You're going to need to be uh, creating more products, uh, more inventory that you're going to need uh, operating capital for that. Uh, and then, of course, you will eventually need to build out a team, even if it's one, two or five people, you need capital to do all of these things. And then on top of that is the trade spends and everything that comes with it. So capital is needed. Partnerships. The most important thing besides the money, you need to build strong partnerships. Everything from your customer, which is the most important piece, to those that you're dealing with on the day-to-day. -day. It could be a service provider like Kyle, uh, yep. and it could be retail partnerships, all your buyers and everybody within the store that works on helping to make you successful at their location. So big on both of those, you do need both. Awesome. And how about, so let's go back to Puffs and Sticks um, and all of our products. Why did you choose to go legume based? Legume. So often I say in one sentence, we're an organic legume based food company. So if you are oh, legumes, we're peas and beans. Yeah. So we are a peas and beans forward company. I'm just big on those ingredients for multiple things. One, the sustainability. People love to talk about the planet and, and, and how to sort of move in that direction. So I love that piece. But the, the piece that I love before learning of that was the fact that they are, of course, higher in protein and fiber, something that I've, I've been sort of on trend with for far before starting this, uh, this company. But um, it's just something I knew could be 
a key piece to our products, whether it be what we're doing now or things that we want to get into, like getting into the cereal that we're into now and starting to move into granola. I knew that legumes could be part of those processes and part of those organic ingredients. So um, whether it's where we're at now or 20 years from now, we always want that to be a key piece uh, to the ingredient makeup. Awesome. So how about let's give everyone some distribution pointers. Um, so where are we at now and what have you learned? Started in nutrition supplement and, you know, you know, by God's grace, as I say, and, and lucky and the partnerships and just strong, you know, just strong relationships. We're still in uh, strong relationships like vitamin shop, shout out. Uh, and then uh, a lot of small to medium um, nutrition supplement partnerships across the country. And then where we started moving into, of course, was where we knew we'd have um, our, our, our biggest opportunity as far as where our customers live and shop, which is going to be uh, conventional and natural retail. Uh, so the Whole Foods, West Coast right now, Sprouts, um, uh, Kroger out East, now we're at and Rouse, and we have a lot, Wegmans just launched. We have a lot of growing partnerships and then all the regionals there, ones, the Jimbos. We have, we have a lot of really great key regional partnerships that we continue to talk on. So what, what to take from it, what to learn is not all partnerships are going to work. Uh, not uh, you're, you're, you got to know where your customers are and that's where the fit is going to be. Find out where your customers are living or where I say shopping, whether that be online. Can you find that market fit online? Can you find the right copy? I, what are you saying online to grab those customers and bring them into the network so that they can find you easily and then try you? And then, of course, at retail, is, is your customer the makeup of that person shopping at Whole Foods? Um, are they at Earth Fair? Um, and so you got to know, and then from there, double down and start working on those partnerships, start doing the promotions and getting the trial going. Because it's in the trial where you need people to not only try, but you need to see, are they going to come back? So you're, it's, it's all about sort of working, working every single uh, opportunity and finding out what works and what doesn't. How has 2021 been and what are you looking forward to in 2022? Another great year for in 21, doubled the business um, because of our team. I mean, it's all of us and doing everything that we, we set out to do. And then 22, we plan to double the business again. Uh, it's not easy. It's, it's super hard. So um, he's creeping in the back. Is that the, is that the, is that the fiance? He's just doing his thing. Um, I love my dog. <laughs> my dog. My uh, I didn't know what I did. I just saw <laughs> something move. Um, <laughs> so it, it's so difficult and, and I'll, I'm going to, I can't wait to talk more on it. There's, a, there's another, there's another person. Um, <laughs> Um, oh my goodness! I'm sorry. Um, the, and so it's super difficult. And I can't. I'm going to talk more on it. I can't wait to just um, offer up things that are working that aren't working. And there's always more that aren't working. That's where there's value add. So we've been lucky, um, but it's all our, our based on and on the back of that we were able to to have access to capital. We were able to raise some more money. Um, that's just something, again, it's not talked about enough. You, you need it to be able to keep the train moving. Even if you have successes and you can prove them out, you need to keep the train moving and money is super, super uh, important. It's an important part of the equation on top of all the other things that you need. An amazing team, um, which we have, um, and then having the, the right products and they need to be, you know, they need to taste great and the partnerships and the like. So um, we've been blessed and we just want to keep the foot on the gas for next year. For sure. Awesome. Well, that's all the questions I have. So. Fantastic job. I love that. All right, here we go. Be great. Here we go. Kyle Salathi. He nailed the last name again. You said your kindergarten <laughs> teacher never got it right. I get it right because it's important to me. Uh, at least right. printing and packaging, give it to us. Tell us what it's all about. Yeah. So uh, we are a family owned uh, packaging business um, that's been around since 2002. Um, we started out in flexible packaging um, and we, we want to get our niche. We, we want to get our name out there, not as just like another packaging manufacturer that you can go into and, and get another quote from like, you know, okay, what's your size? How many colors? Okay. Yeah, I'll give you a quote. Well, what we, what we like to do is we, we do team building as well. Um, 
we like to sit down with our, with our, with our partner. We call them partners because we, we look to build partnerships with businesses, not just provide a sale. Um, so we sit down with our potential client and we find out the overall scope of their business. Um, you know, where we can kind of fit in and save them money, save them time. Um, we've provided solutions uh, for a pet food company, uh, providing a label on a very small cat food can that's a now that that gives them more billboard um, because that was important to them. Uh, we've also learned we've also developed a way to cut down lead times um, through their packaging. Um, we are a, you know, like a turnkey packaging company. Um, so not only do we provide solutions um, in just like flexible packaging, we moved from that to Corrigate about 10 years ago. Um, so now we can offer just about any scope of packaging that you can that you can think of. And why that's important, let's just say for your company, um, for example, Mark, um, you have these for your sticks and your puffs, you have these the, the bags, correct, that you that you sell. Um, and your cereal is a corrugate box. I noticed you have displays that you put out on retail stores um, with, with the cereal boxes and you're, you're getting into now pouches for your granola. Um, where we would come in and be a great fit is, um, I, I'm assuming, I don't know if this is your case or not, maybe you have four or five different contacts for all of your packaging needs, right? Uh, so if you were, were you know, working with a company like me, uh, you would call me one call, I would take care of all that in-house for you. Um, saves you a lot of time to focus other areas in your business as far as like, you know, marketing. And, and like you say, you're trying to grow your company, uh, you know, double the revenue this year or two, 2022. So uh, that would give you more time to put towards that. Um, so that, I mean, that's kind of just the scope of it. Um, we, we handle everything from, from cartons, from flexible packaging, like labels, shrink sleeves. Uh, we have an in-house shrink sleeve applicator. So we also moved into the fulfillment. So not only, let's just say you want to do like a little marketing kit, right? Um, let's just say for the holidays. So you want to have each one of your different uh, food items that you provide. We'll put it in a kit. We have a team in-house that will do the fulfillment for that. And we even go a step further now uh, because of the supply chain issues. Uh, we just bought some new machinery for uh, food and pet food or human grade food and pet food. Um, we can now do co-packing for companies um, just because we've had a lot of people come to us and say, um, you know, our co-packers shutting us out. You know, we're, we don't have the volume to keep up with what they can keep up with. Um, so we brought in machinery and we've been training on it all year long to help our to help clients that are facing those issues. Um, and we also have a 3PL system. Uh, we do e-commerce pick and packs. We have like a little mini Amazon type thing going on in our uh, in our warehouse as well. Uh, we do um, a lot of pick and packs ship out through FedEx every day through that. So, um, you know, we're not a normal packaging company. We really just try to be the best overall partner for our clients in order for them to um, focus other areas in their business, hopefully in the process, saving them the money along the process as well. Very cool. Kyle's like one-stop shop, printing and packaging makes sense. That's Alexis right. info, Kyle's info, Mark's info. Yeah, that's third person talking. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> enjoy the rest of the week. Take care. Thank